Hi guys, I've been playing with these DIYino boards and the DF player for Arduino sound playback. And one of the quirks, uh, something that, that people commonly do, uh, is add hum extensions, uh, meaning each of the clash sounds, swing sounds, etc., gets a little bit extra hum stuck on the end of it versus how you would normally do it from uh, commercially available uh, sound boards. So when you're doing it yourself, uh, you got to do a little bit of extra work and usually that involves opening in an audio editor and adding the hum extensions to each individual file. But I thought that was kind of a pain, it takes a lot of time, um, and I found a way to simplify that with a little Java application and I'm going to demo that for you today. The way I'm going to distribute this is there's basically four files and the application itself is this jar file and if you just double click on it that opens the application and we'll get into that just a little bit later but these other files um, are the license that's creative commons don't try to take credit for it and don't try to sell it basically um, and then this allows you to run with a little uh, it'll run the application um, but it'll also give you a little debug window uh, where you can see extra debug uh, output if you're having problems. Um, but most of the time you shouldn't have to run it that way. So let's get into the application and see how it works. What you go on to do first before you start anything is go to saberfont.com and download a Plector formatted font. Um, don't use the NEC ones because uh, the Plectors already have the hum mixed in. Um, the NEC ones do not. So download the Plector formatted font and put them in a folder somewhere where you know where it is. Then start the application. Sorry, went off screen when I started it. And choose how many power up sounds, power down sounds, how many of each type you want to convert. Just be aware that you have to actually have that number of files in your folder or it won't work obviously. If you try to convert 16 files but there's only eight of them, then it won't work. So in this example I want to do one power up sound, one power down sound. Uh, let's do 10 swing sounds, eh, four clash sounds for whatever reason. Let's do the boot sound, let's not do the spin or the stab. Uh, let's do a force sound and we'll take the font ID. There's tip strips if you hover over each one to tell you what it means and what the expected uh, file name is in the source folder. Now select your source folder. So this is where I put my files. And hit. Then select where you want to put the output. Um, I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it converted. Alright. Say OK. Now when you've got the, the source folder selected, you can view timing data and see how many milliseconds long each of your selected files is. And that's useful for editing your code. And over here you select your how long you want each one to be. Um, so we're, it's going to be, the minimum it can be is twice whatever your home length is. So you can see in the timing data we've got, should be about 24 seconds. Yeah, to 24, this is milliseconds, so that's about 24 seconds. Um, and you'll see this is twice that, so that's about how long we can expect our output to be. But you can make this basically as long as you want. Um, so I'll make this, you know, two minutes. It's 120 seconds. Um, then I hit convert. All right. So it'll say if it was successful or not down there. Now, if we go out to the folder where we put our output, we can see. Ah, see, look at the lengths over here. Hopefully you can make that out. It's, uh, you know, about two minutes for each one. So your, your hum is about two minutes long. Your swing is about two minutes long. So that makes it, that makes the code a lot easier to do when you, you have two minutes after each. And you know, it makes them, makes them uh, blend together nice. After a clash, it'll immediately go into a hum without you having to write any extra code to figure out the timing. And after you do, you know, a swing and so on. All, all of the sounds basically transition back to a hum when the saber is on and this really helps that go a lot smoother. So for example, let's look at the power on. See, so that was the power on going immediately into a hum and you can see right now you got, you know, it's two minutes and three seconds long. So 
it was pretty close to that two minute target that we were looking at. One thing to notice about the alpha folder is that there's this extra, you know, and then the clash sounds have 04 clash, 04 clash 02, 04 clash 03, and so on like that. The reason for that is it helps order the files on the SD card. Uh, so for the DF player, the DOA he knows the order that the files were copied to the SD card matters. So if you want things in a specific order, because that's what your code is expecting, this utility allows you to do that by editing a configuration file. So remember at the beginning I told you there was this config.xml file. If you open that in an editor, you'll see there's this sound prefixes. So you can change that, like if you wanted your, I always like my font ID to come first, so I make that zero. So basically it's alphabetical. Um, and if you want it to be a certain order, like for example, if I wanted the font ID to come last, make that 99. Save that. So I saved that config file and restarted the application. The configurations are loaded at startup. So I've got this all configured. So now I've got to set up same input files as before. Um, but now I'm going to be putting it to this font ID last folder. And I'll, I'll even make the extension time the same. So nothing's different except for that one configuration setting. Hit convert. You can see that now the font ID comes last in the list and it's got a 99 at the end of it. So you can mess around with that and make that whatever you want. So it's pretty self-explanatory if you look at the config file. If you don't like that and you, you don't want to rename them, you don't have to. You can go in here and just make all of these empty like that and, and it won't stick anything on the beginning. So. So that's all the features for, uh, for this version. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope it uh, saves you some time in uh, converting, these, converting these files over for use with the DOA Inno board. Just adding these home extensions uh, just makes your code a lot easier. So good luck with your projects guys and thanks for looking. Bye.